In this next video we're going to look at how to turn right at traffic lights, how to position yourself and how to know when it's safe to go. I'm going to use uh, what I've called the scale electric method. I'm sure you all remember the uh, the, the toy car game uh, with the little cars and the tracks. We're going to use that to help us turn right. What we're going to do is we're going to imagine that the oncoming cars are going to be following the scale electric tracks just like the, the game. If you look here I've marked on the road where the cars are going to be following. Now it's up to you when you move forward not to get in the way of those of those lines. When you move forward you're only moving forward a couple of feet so just put your clutch straight back down so you go into it nice and slowly. When you move into the junction there are three main areas that you need to look. Number one is up ahead uh, to see uh, your gap in the traffic. The second one is the traffic lights and the third one is into the road that you're turning into. Now keep alternating looking at these three areas and uh, notice up ahead there's a gap in the traffic so the best thing to do now is just to inch forward very slowly so you get your car moving a little bit and then you can make your turn keep looking at those three areas. This next clip shows how important it is not to go over the scale electric lines. Uh, this van has gone a bit too much to the right and he's forcing cars to have to move around him. Notice the green car had to signal to go past. This next video shows the same thing. The oncoming car is going to be following that line. So I'll make sure when I go forward not to, uh, to cross it. Okay, As I go forward I'm looking in those three places up ahead, the traffic lights and into the road. It's important I look at the traffic lights in case they change. Uh, I'll more about that in a minute. Notice my gap's coming up, so I'll start moving forward a little bit just before the gap opens up, and off I go. Just go into a bit more detail now. Uh, look at the oncoming cars. There's two lanes. One's turning right, and one's going straight on. Now, if we notice here, as we go forward, that's roughly where we want to position. Try and see it as the sort of the tip of a triangle. I'll show you what I mean in an overhead view. Look at the path of the oncoming cars. We want to position our car where the blue line is, around about there. Watch as I go forward. This will give me a good view. If you notice, it's partly obscured by the cars who are turning right. So I just go forward nice and slowly with my clutch down and keeping looking at the three points I mentioned earlier. When I see a safe gap, I'll inch forward just a little bit just so I can get moving. Now here we have a car turning left. I can go at this point. If you notice on the ground there are some giveaway lines that he has to stop for me. This next clip shows a staggered junction which is a little trickier but the same principles apply. I'm going to mark where the cars are going to be going. The van's going there. Any cars going behind him are going to follow this path so I need to position where the red X is. Now there's a long line of traffic here. I've got my position but there's a long line of traffic so I'm gonna have to wait but now the lights have just changed. I can start inching forward a little bit. There's a couple of cars still coming through but now it's time for me to go. I need to clear the junction. This next clip just shows the same thing turning right at traffic lights. As you come up to it, visualise where the cars are going to go and don't get in the way. Just a little note on the uh, traffic lights that I was mentioning before. If you're over the white line, which I am now, and the traffic lights change to amber as you're going across like this, you need to clear the junction and carry on providing there's no oncoming cars. They should be stopping as well, but just double check that they are. 